Hello there, Ivar Pai, Ivar's Fly workshop here. Um, today I'm gonna tie the fly Bloodworm or Blood Armor in Icelandic. Um, I'm not familiar who created the Bloodworm originally, but this is a very effective fly, and there are many uh, editions of the Bloodworm that exist. People are tying it with all sorts of materials, both vinyl rip and uh, black, uh, no, red hollow tinsel and uh, red wire. So there are lots of variations of of uh, creating this fly. I'm tying this fly on a grubber hook. So, um, and with a red thread and with a silver bead, we just start by attaching the thread to the hook. We'll go back with it like I did all the way back to the bend of the hook, like halfway down to the, on the bend and back again and for the underbody which I place under the vinyl rib I'm gonna use this um, silver hollow tinsel and this is a very nice tinsel you see I keep it in a bag because the the roll of the tinsel went like out of control and it's all over everywhere so I recommend that you don't uh, throw it away same happened with the wire there uh, just place it in the back, then it's going to be like in the back and just open the back and pull out the length which you need and then close the back. That's how I operated with materials that go wrong. It happens by and by, not all the time, but it happens to everybody who who does flat tying and uh, if you make some tiny mistakes you may have to have to do that. Then we attach the uh, hollow tinsel to the hook shank like that. We go back and forth with the thread and then we wrap the uh, tinsel around the hook shank and this is to create like a platform under the vinyl rib so it's gonna be a little bit different colored and uh, instead of just the red thread under on the hook shank. It gives the fly like a little bit more shinier you know look on it and the uh, Bloodworm is an excellent fly both for trout and arctic char fishing, both in still water and running water. You can use it in the springtime and in the summertime and it's an excellent fly in any, any way. It's a really good fly as you, if you're fishing, uh, if you're doing upstream fishing as well. But doing upstream you need to, need to have like a heavy, like a heavy beat on it, like a tungst tungsten beat or, or some. Uh, now we have like attach the uh, silver hollow tinsel to the body the next step is to take the uh, take like a medium red uh, vinyl rib and attach that to the body there are many various variations of this fly some people tie it with uh, like a hackle made out of uh, peacock like peacock curls and yeah there are like countless uh, variations of the fly and editions I myself uh, prefer to tie it like this, keep it simple and effective. Attaching the uh, vinyl rib like this uh, gives, you, gives us this opportunity. It's going to be stuck there. Some people attach it on the back, but I prefer to keep it like secure and uh, in its place by by attaching it like, like I do. Then, <clears throat> then we wrap the vinyl rib around the hook. Sometimes, as you see, it can be a little bit troubly to get the first two wraps around, get them to sit in the correct place that you want, but when you have that, then you just wrap it like I'm doing, forward to, towards to the beat, and make sure that the, um, that the correct side of the wiener rib is pointing upwards. And uh, then we'll just wrap it around like this, all the way to the bit and attach it firmly and safely with the thread. I'm using a red uh, thread for it, 8-0 uh, uni thread. And since there is space there and some material left of the UV, no not the UV, but the <laughs> vinyl rib, sorry then it's an excellent opportunity to create like a little bit thicker body of the of the fly like like I'm doing a little bit thicker slightly thicker 
towards to the beat like I'm doing. Then you just secure the uh, Wiener rip with the uh, with the thread. You just wrap it like five or ten times, like tight enough to so it's gonna sit. And you stretch the UV, not the UV, but the Wiener rip, sorry, and trim it off. Then we create the head of the fly with the uh, thread and makes make it like tight enough so the beat is not going to be rattling so the beat is going to be definitely stuck then again when we are done with this the fly is almost ready so the only thing left is just to place like a do the whip finishing job with the whip finisher i have i don't prefer to do the whip finishing stuff with my hands i I, I, I yeah some, somehow got used to use the tools for it so it's gonna be way easier for me using them uh, now the whip finish is uh, done then we just trim the thread off right up there right almost by the knot and the only thing left we have is to place some warnish on the on the head of the fly there comes the varnish I'm using just a simple clear varnish. You can get varnish everywhere in every fly tying, every fly tying store in the land has some sort of a varnish. And then I place it over the over the thread and a little bit go a little bit back with it, like a half a centimeter back on the thicker part of the fly, and make sure it covers all of the thread. So um, here we have the blood worm. The bloodworm is ready. Just let it try and it's ready to go out and fish with it. It's a beautiful fly, it's a simple fly and it's really effective. Thanks for watching. Uh, you may do me a favor by subscribing the channel and like the video and share it if you like. You can share it all around. Thanks for watching.